400 year Turkish occupation. The Sultan is determined to deliver a hard blow to the morale and the fighting spirit of all Greeks. The total destruction of Kassos by the Egyptian allies and the destruction of Psaia by the Turkish troops has spread sorrow but also fueled up the anger and the rage of all Greeks. The target now is Samos, the first step for the rest of Greece. An easy target according to the Sultan, he asks for the full surrender without resistance. At first he promises and later he threatens, but Likurvos Lovothelis does not fall for promises or bow to threats. The Samian people support him in organizing the resistance. The Greek navy is coming for support. Of course, in the shores of Asia Minor, thousands of militia troops are waiting to loot and slaughter. The Turkish navy surrounds the island with arrogance in an attempt to intimidate. The Greeks are preparing for battle at sea in the same Mikali Straits where their forefathers have fought and defeated the Persians centuries before. Freedom or death, the signal of the Greek Revolution, is deeply carved in their minds and hearts. They recognize the enemy outnumbers them, but they do not, but they do not fear. For two days, they exchange cannon fire without any significant result. The third day, it is all quiet and filled with anticipation. On the fourth day, August 6th, the naval battle begins. Greek fire ships managed to infiltrate and surprise the Turks by setting their biggest and fastest frigate on fire right across from the castle of Lycurgos. Fearsome and continuous explosions shake and confuse the enemy. When the fire reaches the armory of the ship where the gunpowder was kept, the night lights up as a day. Panic spreads through the Turkish fleet. Two more ships blow up in the middle of the sea as if the demons of hell awoke with an appetite for destruction. The sight of the burning ships was so intimidating that the Turkish navy falls back. The Turkish militia across the sea on the Turkish shores disassemble. Scared, Capitan Passas abandons every effort for landing on the island. Samos is not an easy target after all. The Greeks once again have cancelled the Sultan's plans. Today, we are witnessing the annual celebration and we the victorious battle of 1824 in memory and honor for the valor and sacrifice of the fighting Greeks who desired and dared to regain our independence as a testament to the glorious historical past of Greece.